a lot of questions everyone is wondering what is this film what is that damn title matru ki bijli ka everyone is very confused about the name of the film what the film is about for me and also when we were promoting the film i thought it'd be interesting to show people that the journey i made from becoming from imran tony into matru pankaj kapoor is a very scary actor to work with because uh, he is the kind of guy who does so much prep by himself it was such a different role it's such a different character that i'm playing that i was very very tense tumhara naam imran khan se aur tum dekh rahe ho bollywood hangama uh i think we were all really kind of overwhelmed with the the initial response when the first promo came out there's obviously a lot of a lot of questions everyone is wondering what is this film what is that damn title matru ki bijli ka everyone is very confused about the name of the film what the film is about so all of us realize that our first look has to catch people's attention it has to really kind of knock people's socks off and i was happy with the response for me it was such a different role it's such a different character that i'm playing that i was very very tense and for me the the best thing was to see how many media people and how many film people uh called me and messaged me saying we love the the, the look of the film but more than that we love your work in the film the way that you said the uh, the lines that you the fact that i look like the character i mean obvi- obviously uh, you'll always have positives and negatives but the big thing for anyone in the industry is when the rest of the industry supports you you know when other directors and other actors think that you've done a uh, done a good job at least for me that's the biggest thing when when my industry people support me. right in the beginning when i had just signed on to the film and i was doing my first reading my first rehearsal with vishal uh the, the the words were just not coming out i was trying to say the lines and i was not able to say it and i went home that day and i sat down and said, maybe i've made a mistake maybe i sh- maybe i should not have done this film maybe i won't be able to pull it off and i sp- i spoke to vb about that and he said look all of this insecurity all of this fear he's saying let that be the motivating factor for you to work harder he's saying don't let it turn into something that slows you down let put it behind you and make it push you forward make it so that you'll work harder i said ha huh, that's good advice good thinking sir <laughs> I threw myself into it. I, I I moved to Delhi. I stayed there for two and a half months, uh, and I trained with N K Sharma, who uh, he has a theatre group in Delhi called Act One. Any any of you Delhi people will know about it. Uh, how many? I think we were working about seven eight hours a day. I was training with some boys who were actually f- from uh, from Rotak in Haryana. So that gave me a lot. The fact that now I'm not just learning lines on paper, and I'm actually talking to guys who are from there. They speak like this. They they stand like this. This is this is how they are. so i got to pick up a lot from there you got you get to kind of understand the body language understand the mannerisms things that otherwise would not have come to me i would i would not have thought of it by myself i thought it would be very interesting for me and also when we were promoting the film i thought it would be interesting to show people that the journey i made from becoming from imran tony into matru so uh from the day i started growing the beard i started taking photographs so i i wanted to show how the beard would grow then the color would change because my beard for some reason is is brown so it, i had to dye it black so that it matches my hair uh so as we changed the color as we changed my skin color so all of these things I, as those changes happened and i actually started to become a true uh i i i thought it'd be interesting to have a, a record of that i have a document of that so i set an alarm on my phone every day i took a photo with exactly the same frame anushka and i had done a photo shoot a couple of years ago and i had found her to be very sweet at that point and then we kind of moved on we didn't really do any work together the very first day we were shooting a scene which is slightly emotional scene for her and i mean it's tough for any actor to jump in and do the, such an important scene on the first day so and the way she did it was just brilliant i've i've been very impressed with her as an actor uh she's she's very very real very natural so kind of organically the moments that happen right in front of you she can start a scene one way and her graph can change she can start to become emotional tears can start to come an actor or for an audience when you're watching it you you tend to get a little carried away in it it's it's a great feeling to watch something really good happening in front of you pankaj kapoor is a very scary actor to work with because uh he is the kind of guy who does so much prep by himself so he will sit and he will have this entire thing of, of the character everything that he's done and when it comes to time to do the take you never really know what he's going to do uh because he he doesn't he doesn't want to let any of it out so you have to be on your guard you have to be very re- very very prepared for anything that might happen because during the take he might go here he might go there he might say this he might say that you don't know you have to be prepared you have to be on on the ball because if he does something unexpected which he will do something unexpected 
and you are not ready to to take that forward then the whole shot will go for waste it will be be wasted you can't so it's not just in a creative field but in any field if you're honest about your work you will always have doubts about whether you're good enough about whether you can do something correctly or not when those doubts go away and when you say ke yaar main kuch bhi kar sakta hu that is a very dangerous time so you should always question whether i will be good enough whether i can do this uh, th- that kind of self questioning is good uh naturally i i had great reservations about whether i would be able to do justice to the role i mean vishal has always made very very high quality films uh across the board the actors the performances in the films have been of of a, a very very high standard so you say ki i'm i am joining this legacy i'm i'm going to be a part of a film made by such a, a celebrated filmmaker i have to step up and i have to be good enough to be part of that ultimately the the advice that vishal gave me is what what drives me and what drives us all If you're insecure that means you should work harder